Hello everybody, this is Naomi. We're back to doing part two of the things that I'm going to use and put on my tray. Uh, I want to get all the tray things done first. Then we are going to do the tray itself. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So we're going to start today. Uh, I'm going to use some of my Waverly new paint. And I'm going to take this. All this is is an old cat food can. And I'm going to paint it white. And give it a good coat. Of white paint. And this will be my first time to actually use the Waverly paint. So, we'll see how I like it. I hope everybody is enjoying the videos that I've been putting up here lately been trying to do some more crafts that way um, it's you know part part hauls and part crafting that way everybody gets um, to see both not think that I'm just buying things and hoarding them because that's not the thing that I'm doing <laughs> so okay now we got coat one on so I'm, we're going to let this dry and I'll be right back. Two coats of paint on it. And I went ahead and I took my hole puncher like this. And I just lined up where I wanted my hoe. Used the small hole punch. And punched my hoe into the can like so. And I turned around and did one just the opposite on the opposite side of there. So that gives me, gives me two holes for my can. And I, I'm going to distress it. And I will be doing some distressing on this. And I've ta I'm taking... I'm going to take some of this wire here and cut off and I want to make a loop but I want to square it off at the top and put some um, beads like this in it for a handle so uh, I've already cut my loop and I'm sure this is plenty long enough but I want to straighten it out to where I can get my beads on it and then have a have plenty to fold over and um, make my handle where it connects inside. So oh, you're gonna be cantankerous. Some of these may need to be whole poked in them where they painted the inside. I don't know. There's two. And I'm not, I bought a bunch of beads a while back and these were in that box of beads. But I figured with the black and white theme that I'm going with, this would be an ideal thing for that. Look at that, can I see if that helps any? And I'm trying not to um, scuff up the black wire too much. Okay. So 
kind of want it to let's see, let me round this just a little bit more. this one side and this is just the Dollar Tree um, aluminum wire cuts really easy oh, wait a minute this one's not um, I ran out of the Dollar Tree when this is uh, um, Michaels okay. trying to keep that rounded okay, that's about the same okay, let me check it so just gonna pull it apart Slide it in the holes. Just like so, because I want it to be able to lay back here as well. So I think what I'm going to do is just get my flowers on this piece here and just twist and make a little loop just like so and I'll do the same on this side over here just gonna grab a hold of it twist it because it don't need to be a very big loop. Just like so. And then we'll just kind of adjust and play with the handle and round it out a little more. There we go. about the way this one rounded out so I'm gonna straighten it up just a little bit and see if I can get that better round on it like that one's got there we go okay so there's that so now I'm gonna take this um, black furniture repair marker and I'm just going to put some distressed marks on the can thing down here and then periodically I'm just gonna cut one here and there 
I could spin straight and dented and I'm gonna come here and make this a little wider here. Same down here, just give it a little. you know how they get actually get little chips and things like that in them but I don't want it to look perfect by no means I'm going to do this one the same way. And if you don't like it, you can always change it. So there's how that goes. take these letters and I'm going to cut out farmer's market and then once I get them all cut out I'll be right back okay so now I've got all of these cut out so what I'm going to do is start laying these in here and these are just rub-ons I get this all spelled out and laid out I will be right back and there's what it looks like once it's done come on So I'm going to take some of my checkerboard ribbon and I'm going to run this around. Still learning how to tie these to where they come out like they're supposed to. Come on. Do anything. Do what I want you to do. Pull back. See, I never get these to where they lay down like they're supposed to. 
this always wants to go up top and I don't want it on the top but anyway there we go see it's upside down <laughs> It'd be fine if it was like this, but it's not up, it's upside down. So let's see if I can finagle it a little bit to where it'll do what I'm wanting it to do. Okay, and I've just about got it. So now I'm going to take and duct tail my points. I hope I'm doing this right. Yes, I did. And I'm going to do this one. now so there's that and what it looks like I'm having to play with this handle because that's the way I want it see how I want it it stays right there. That's the way I want it to stay. Just like that. Alright. Now I finally got that. So. There it is. Project number one. Or the be project number four. I believe. So there's that one. And I'll be right back with the next one. Okay. These two little boxes I got from that rummage sale. So, I am going to use those for a project by itself. So, let me get this tag off of here. And then there's one on this. See, that one was three, nine, three something, and the other one was two something. And I only paid $5 for the whole bag. Couldn't believe that. But it'll be all right. I enjoy a, a good bargain. Okay, so there's that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these lids down. Because I don't want them coming off. I want this to look like one solid piece of block wood. But it's just a hard, very hard box. Um, da -da -da -da. Here it is. So I'm going to use my tacky glue to glue this down.
hold it for a second or two so that it bonds real good. So there's that one. And I'll take and do this one the same way. I love that too because it keeps my bottle in that right position so that it's ready at all times. Just come in and wipe the excess poo off. Okay, yep, back, back, back. I want to make sure that those are where they should be. I didn't even check that on that other box. And I aligned it perfectly. Cool beans. Okay, this one's still got some oozing out. Oh man, that's not going to matter because it's going to be covered up anyways. Okay, so there's my two different size boxes. So let me get everything together and we'll get this started. Okay, so now I went and I've got my paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this box with this paper. Um, I was going to paint it and then I decided no, that's not what I wanted to do. So, I'm going to wrap it. And, which I know I'm going to have to splice it together, but one side will be the back side. So, you're not going to see a lot of that. So... I've got extra here to patch in, but I need to figure out where I'm going to be at first. So, first off, I'm going to start with the little one. The little one won't be as tedious to do. Okay. I want this to be in the center of my box. I do know that much. So... And I am going to glue this down because I don't want it coming off. So I'm going to use a little bit of my art glue. So all I'm going to do is just put a strip here at the top, down along the side, the bottom, and back up. And that's all I'm going to do. And need to center it about there. And then I'm going to do the same here. Not worrying whether the glue is perfect or not. And then this piece will fold over just like so. So that's what I'm going to do here is manipulate that so that it will take on the crease. Just like that. Then I'm going to come over here on the other side and just do the same thing. Just speed down, cross over. Just like that and fold it over and then 
this piece will fold in like that. But I've got the small piece that I'm going to take and put right in here so that it will cover up any that is not there. one will fold down just like that and see you won't be none the wiser so I'm gonna This paper is just going to save me some time is all. That's all that it's going to do. Okay, so I'm going to take this side, fold it in, just like that. Fold it in, excuse me, I'm out of frame. I'll fold this one in just like that. Trying to stay in frame where you can see, just like you would wrap a gift. And, da, 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 da. and I still have a little bitty piece yep. Still have a little bitty piece here that's not wanting to cooperate. So I'm going to take this, unfold this, and I'm going to lay it right here with that. go over that that'll go over the top of that and then that'll be folded down just like that but I'm not going to glue that down just yet okay let me see how big the piece I need over here these are going to be stacked on each other anyway so you're really not going to be able to tail it so
then if you got a little hanging up, you just snip it catty corner, like so. Fold it over, and you're just gonna put a little bit of glue up underneath that edge, along that edge. Fold it over. And there that is. Okay. So come back to this side. Just like that. Fold that over. Get you a little bit of right here. Fold that over takes care of that and here's this corner again that needs to be snipped so I'm gonna go ahead and do both get a little glue right underneath the edging of that on this seam up this wall to there same here fold it in fold it in your box. Looks like it's made out of piece of wood. So, and then I have this chicken. I'm going to finish this box first. Then I have this chicken that I've printed out. So what I'm going to do with it is this is going to come and I'm going to um, um, ta -da, ta -da. hold on, it's all good. Walnut stain. And I'm going to lightly stain up these edges. Like that. And I just got these images off of Pinterest because I haven't actually learned how to figure out my Cricut yet. I'm working on it, getting closer to figuring it out. I'm going to kind of distress these corners a little bit. back to where I was at around here and all I'm going to do is just put a bead of glue all the way around just like so and I'm going to center it in here 
like so, and layer down. So there's one of my cubes, and I'm going to leave it just like that because I like that that wood pattern because I want it to look like a, a solid block of wood. Okay, so to the one that's going to be a little harder to do. Okay, so we're going to need this one. find one more sheet of paper not quite sure yet so that one's gonna go there straighten it up just a little Somewhat take the shape so that it'll take the stress off the paper. So now we're gonna come in and put some glue here. Looks like I'll be going back and putting some on the back. Okay. You're wanting to be cantankerous this afternoon, aren't you? There's that. Then we'll fold over to that. And we'll give it a minute to set. Okay. Mm hmm. There's that. So I'm going to cut it here at this line here. that in and we're going to
just like that. Then we're gonna fold technically this down like this. Put some right here in this seam. from here put that and there put a strip there and there fold it over one more time this is the back it's not gonna do you're not gonna notice it much anyways So now I'm going to take this piece take this piece and then I'll start right here in this corner and lay it down just like that and that way it helps cover up anything that this ledge here don't. some glue here and I'm going to fold that down and this one will get folded down just like that which I will raise back up real quick and put a bead of glue from there to there This one will get folded in. So now we'll take a bead of glue, run it right here to there, we'll fold it down. scissors give take this piece chomp it off there fold that over I need a little bit of glue right here right here right like that fold it over and there that is And then we'll just pretty much repeat the same thing here. I'll be right back once I get this one done.
take my glue and run me a bead around the edge just like this and I'm gonna put it just like So now these two pieces are set just like that. So depending on whether I want to do that or not, because I want one to be just a little offset, kind of like that. if I just want to stand them straight up but I think I'm going to make a bow or something to set up here hold on okay I think I'm gonna make a twine bow to go up top Now that we're done with this just put it in the little bread and it holds it secure until I'm ready to use it again oops I forgot to cut my small piece way and it locks the, the knot. So now stick your fingers in each one of the loops. If you got any that are off kilter and stick your fingers in the loops and do like this and it will pull them back even and you can still slide that and then you just them apart like this this is called a messy bow if that's what I remember correctly and you just do it like so okay so now we're gonna put a big deal of glue right here and we're going to put this little bow right here like that and that's going to be its home I'm going to put just a little dot here to kind of hold that there little dot there to hold that one there let me get these strings off of here Okay, so there that is, and then there's that box. So there's that. 
So let me get everything ready for the next one. The next DIY is very simple. I'm using a Dollar Tree frame, brand new, and I'm going to take this image here and I want it placed in here. But I want to keep the white background. And then I'm going to do a few other things to it. To So we're going to do that. So where did my cutting board go? Hold on a minute. Let me get my cutting board. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. And basically what I've done is I took the inside of that and I laid it on here and I want that full image to be seen but I left enough of it around the edgings so that the paper will set behind that so I just took and drew it out like this so now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to lay this over here out of the way for a minute. So what I'm going to do is take me a ruler and my cutter and I'm going to Cut this out so it will fit my image. So we're going to start it here and take it to here. And I don't want to go past it. So we're going to start there and go to there. Like I said, this is just going to be a quick, simple DIY. Oops. This one didn't cut all the way. Okay. Be real careful. I'll put my Lay it back on this so I don't cut myself with it. Give me back my this will set back in here like this. This is going to set in here like that. But one of the things that I'm going to do is so that it won't slide. not right. Okay, let's realign this.
here we go. I'm just going to put this tape to hold it in place so it can't move. So there's that. Then let's see. Hold on just a minute. Okay. So I'm going to take these two popsicle sticks. Whether the uh, I got these from Walmart, and I'm just going to cut straight across. Get me a straight edge. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to figure out where I need to cut this one out. And then I'm going to make another one identical to it. But before I put these on here, I'm going to take this walnut color and I'm going to Dress up this piece here. And stress up the ends. And I didn't color well, I better, because part of this will be showing. that away. There we go. So, there that is. And I am going to take this. Whether it actually takes it or not, I'm just going to lightly do the edges. I'm 
And one way I found out with this is if it's got like a coating on it, you can actually heat it and it'll help it heat heat set. So I'll do that in a moment. So for now, I'm going to run some hot glue. Right here. I want to play it flush so that did that the wrong way but it'll be alright I can still paint it that way Now that I've got all the spider webbings off of my hair, here's what it looks like after it's done, put together. Quick, simple, and easy. And here's the one I did beforehand, and I've put some wooden spoons in them. It's got some painted images. And then here's the box set that I did to start with. So we're going to call this a done video. If you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. And hope everyone has a happy and blessed day. Thank you.